We're going to Disney World! That's definitely Legoland. Well, then why are you wearing that goofy hat? One, because you put it on me, and two, it's a Mickey hat, not a goofy hat. Fair enough. We're going to Legoland! Hello all, I'm Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, and one of my favorite places in the entire world, or rather one of my favorite places that is an entire world, is the world of Disney, or Disney World, as normal people might call it. I love Disney World, I love theme parks in general, and one theme park that I've never been to, that I've always wanted to go to, is Legoland. Coincidentally, that's the theme of today's set. This is the Lego Legoland Park set. This set came out all the way back in 2019, was previously exclusively available at Legoland theme parks, but is now also apparently available at Target because exclusive means nothing after at least two years. This set contains 1300 and some odd pieces as recommended for ages eight plus and costs 90 bucks at Target stores. I don't know if that's how much it costs back at Legoland Parks. The build for this set was quite substantial. It took me like two and a half hours to put the whole thing together and boy was this the opposite of a boring build. I guess we could just call that an interesting build. You do not spend a long time on any one part of this set. By the time you're done building one little theme park element, you're on to the next. You got entrance gates, you got rides with mechanicism, you've got miniature little areas. The whole set comes together so beautifully. Almost every bag has a different minifigure in it. There's some sticker but honestly not too many for the size of this set. The set was weird to build in the sense that there's almost no complicated building techniques and there are a lot of simple pieces used across this entire set and yet everything still felt very interesting. Nothing got boring or repetitive. Maybe the miniature sections took a little longer than I would have liked but in the end what you end up with are so many interesting unique cool pieces that I mean there's nothing about this build I did not like. Honestly, I don't know that I would have picked up this particular set under normal circumstances, but we happen to be in a quarantine and that happens to mean that we haven't been able to visit theme parks for a very long time. And like I said, one of my favorite places to go in the entire world is Walt Disney World. And I have not been able to go there for a very long time. And so I'm kind of jonesing for that theme park fix. And this set, seeing it in Target, I was like, sure, I can virtually go to a theme park by building some Lego, even if it does not happen to be Disney World. I personally have never been to a Legoland theme park, but I assume that this set depicts a lot of places that are in a Legoland park, and it makes me want to visit even more after building this set. Let me start off by saying there is a lot here. This set kind of spreads out very widely across a table like my own, and for someone like me who does not have a lot of display space left for my Lego sets, this set is a bit of a problem for me in that area. But if you happen to have a big Lego city or like a whole Lego room, then you have room to display something like this, then this would be a great, awesome set. It's got a bunch of accessory figures and little set pieces that go together with this theme park theme, especially if you have like a whole Lego room set up that's dedicated to being like a theme park. Shout out to Emma Soros and her husband, Mr. Soros, I think her, just, her husband's name is Ross. Her name is Emily. They have a big, very cool Lego room set up where they have a Cinderella castle going on there, a bunch of other Disney theme stuff. I think they got a whole main street going on. Basically the Lego city that I would build if I had the space. I've never met them personally, but they seem like lovely people. I think they're also fellow Austinites and anyone that's willing to pair a formal Mr. and Mrs. with the surname of Soros, well, those are people that I'd like to know. Everywhere you look across this set, there is something else fun and interesting going on. You can create so many theme park hijinks using the minifigures in this set, playing with the attractions in this set, setting up little scenes of people buying hot dogs and whatnot. It's just so much fun. Here are all of our different sections. There is an entrance gate, a ticket booth, a map with attraction signs. There's a little hot dog cart. There's a bench for some relaxing. There's a little souvenir stand where you can buy little Lego sets as well as some classic Lego hats or helmets, which I have not seen in a Lego set in a very long time. And then for rides and attractions, there is a mini land. There is a submarine ride. There is a pirate spinning barrels ride. There is an observation tower. And then of course, the piece de resistance of this set. I don't think it is a French roller coaster, but it is a uh, castle and dragon themed roller coaster. Like I said, there is so much going on with this set and on top of all that you get 10 minifigures and a baby. That's a movie that I would watch as long as they bring back Tom Selleck and Ted Danson. The other guy, I don't remember his name so I'm okay if they recast that guy. 
This miniature land is awesome looking, especially being recreated at this scale. And like I said, I've never been to a Legoland theme park, but I think miniature land within that theme park would probably be my favorite section of the entire park. Because personally, I, much like Walt Disney himself, I love miniatures. And miniatures that are created out of Lego, I love even more. And now we've got in this set miniatures of miniatures created by Lego. That has something to say about it. I have something to say about that, and that's that I like it. Also, shout out to Ben Builds Lego. That dude makes some crazy, awesome looking micro scale Lego sets. He sells the instructions online. You've probably seen his stuff around the internet, even if you didn't know it was his. The pirate ride is excellent. I love the little theming, especially at this scale. Plus, we get another little blue and yellow parrot, which makes this whole set worth it just for that piece. The observation tower is whatever, but it's cool that there are some moving mechanics built in where the top spins. I'm assuming that is accurate to the actual Legoland park. The Dragon Coaster, like I said, is probably the most standout piece of this entire set. It's fun to play with. It's the only part of this set that my kids want to play with, and it makes me long for the days of the castle-themed Lego and hope that we will get some, like, throwback sets to those coming up pretty soon here. But I love the dragon, the built dragon on the coaster itself. I like the little towers built in, and if you get sick on the ride, there are even some little restrooms built into the back of those castle towers. Again, I have no idea if that's accurate to an actual Legoland theme park. Let me know if you've been to a Legoland theme park and if there are bathrooms behind the castle towers. But do you want to know what my favorite part about this entire set is? If you've been around here for a while, you could probably guess it. It's this, the little submarine ride. I don't know if the ride at Legoland Parks is a little submarine ride or if it is like this, a single submarine sitting up on a little pedestal that you can sit in. But either way, this is my favorite part of this entire set. This little submarine might seem underwhelming, but personally, aquatic themed Lego sets were and are my favorite to this day. And aquatic themed theme park attractions were and are my favorite to this day. Tragically, it has been over 20 years since my favorite Walt Disney World attraction closed. That was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea at the Magic Kingdom. And if it's true that absence makes the heart grow fonder, well, my heart's had a lot of time to grow pretty fond of that ride because it's been absent from my life for so, so long at this point. Just long enough for me to develop a big old Nautilus-shaped hole right through my chest. But getting back to the set, would I recommend this set to someone else? Uh, maybe not, actually, in this case. 90 bucks is a lot of money. This set takes up a whole bunch of room. Maybe if you're like me, you also really like theme park themed Lego sets and theme parks in general. In that case, this set may have some cool little accessories and stuff that you could use elsewhere in maybe a Lego city or something. But for me, I do not have anywhere to display this set. I'm very glad I own it. It's a lot of fun to play with. My kids really like it, but at some point this thing will get crumpled up and put into a big old bag and shoved somewhere else. That's unfortunate, but it's the truth. So maybe I would not recommend this set to everyone. That being said, it's fun that these sets are out in Target. There are a couple of smaller Legoland sets. There's like a Ninjago one, a little car one, a little firefighting one. I didn't pick those up. I probably won't pick those up. I think they've also been out for a little while, so I don't know. There's also a bunch of other really great looking new Star Wars and Harry Potter sets coming out later this year, so maybe hold off on some of those if you have a limited Lego budget like so many of us do. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends and all that, and let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to a Lego Land theme park. Personally, I never have, like I said. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had the wonderful experience of being able to ride the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride at Walt Disney World. I think it closed back in 94, so even me, I would have been like seven years old at the oldest when having ridden that, and yet it still stays as a treasured memory in my head and will continue to do so for the rest of my days. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.